<laughs> what? I started the video. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um. All right. Hello there. It's Amara and Marshall. And today we have a very fun video idea that's going to take probably the whole week. Not necessarily the whole week, but some of the week to do. We're going to select three random courses and make a meal using a mix of recipes from family members and gifts from our wedding registry. Marshall will pick the desserts and the side dish, and then I will pick the main course. And it will be randomized, and he will not get to watch when he's picking it. <laughs> Okay, so wait, wait, stay here, stay here, okay? Oh, so first, you're gonna pick the side dish, okay, Marshall? Okay. So in front, don't touch them yet, in <laughs> front of you, or in this range, in this range here, there are five different side dishes. I'm gonna have you select one randomly whenever you're ready. Okay, open your eyes. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll wait, Let's okay. See. Oh boy, I don't even know if I can acquire these ingredients. Come in, what is it? Oh my. Read it, tell me. It's called it's roasted not. root veggies. It's not in braille. No, it's not. Oh, I like roasted veggies. Yeah, but it, it calls for parsnips. Well, we don't have to have parsnips. If we're gonna find them, cool, if not, that's okay. All right. What else, like carrots? Um, yes, etc. We will, okay, now we need to have you select the dessert. So just carefully, wait, there's a chair in your way. I feel it. <laughs> right over here, there is a section in this book that you can select this from. One. I will give you the section and then you may randomly select. Yeah. So the section is here. Reach down, do you feel that? This one. Yeah, through all of those, you can Please. select the desserts. Do you think they put the good desserts first or last? <laughs> or in the middle? I don't think they would have put bad desserts in there. Now, you have book. flipped through this book. It's been a while. So I know there's a couple of killer ones that we haven't made yet, but I want to make, so. <laughs> all right, babe. Um, I'm trying to decide, do I want to commit to this place I picked? I want to change. I think I'm going to change. I'm going to go up north of the front. Right there. Okay. Uh, I think this is, yep, okay. This is a recipe. Let me see what it's for. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You can take your blindfold off. Look and see what you picked. I'm blind. Oh wow, interesting. You can put your glasses on, babe. Over there. <laughs> Caramel pecan cheesecake. Oh my goodness. Oh, 12 little cheesecakes. Wow. They when, sound they delicious. Say when we should make it for office parties, potlucks, and for snacks. That's great. Do you want your glasses back so you can see? Yeah, babe. <laughs> oh, they say that they're cute and irresistible. With an emphasis on addictive. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you've selected that dessert as well as this side. Ooh, taters. <laughs> I suppose maybe we should try and find parsnips if we can, because it's only potatoes and carrots listed. Otherwise, we'll have Those. to add more of each. Yeah. Or add a similar, similar one. All right, now you have to film me pick our main course. <laughs> Okay, so the side and the dessert have both been chosen. So now Am is going to choose the main dish. Oh my gosh. And so this is, uh, oops, sorry. This is a, a recipe book from her grandma bar. Mm hmm And, okay, let me just get it ready. Okay, so that's the section there. Mm. It's a lot of stuff. There's like casseroles and soups, I think, and lots of meat courses and mm. all sorts of stuff. She's making her selection. She's feeling it. Oh, I 
feeling. She's being a part of the recipes. I can taste them. Oh, that's oh, strange. Yum. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so now you have the left or the right. Your two, two options. options are this one and this one. Okay. May the force be with me. Oh, I'm literally almost falling over because when you're blindfolded, you don't have good balance. Okay. Um, this one. Left. Yes. So, you take off your blindfold. You have chosen chicken noodle casserole. No way. Is this the same one that she made for us? I think so. That was really good, too. <laughs> it's really, really good. It is so good. All right. Both of those would have been really good. Dang. Sweet. All right. So we've got our selection of a main course, a side, and a dessert. They all look really good. And Marsha will take you along shopping with him when he gets the ingredients. <laughs> and then we will film with you as we make them all and put them together later this week. All right, well, I just pulled into the grocery store. And so I'm about to go pick up all the ingredients we have for our recipes. And then we can get to uh, finally making and cooking and the best part, eating. But all right, here I go. Wish me luck. All right, so just got done grocery shopping and then realized that I got a few clips early on, but then I kind of got into the zone of grocery shopping, if anyone can relate, where you just like to kind of pin your ears back and get things figured out and get in and out as quickly as you can. So I totally forgot to grab a bunch of extra clips, but uh, here's my cart, pretty full, some st most stuff for our recipes and then some stuff to eat during the week. So just finished up there um, and now we're going to head home and eventually start making some, some good food. So. See you in a bit. All right, well, today we are making um, our recipes that we randomly chose the other day. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started on our dessert here right away. Um, it's like a caramel pecan cheesecake um, or caramel if you wanna be fancy. Um, so I'm gonna start that. Actually, I'm gonna put dishes away first. So you guys just hang on there for a second. start with our crust. They call for graham cracker crust, chocolate graham crackers. Um, problem was, <clears throat> I couldn't find any actual chocolate graham crackers. So we're going with heavy grams. Not that thing. Mm. Before I do that though, even I need to line our muffin thin as well. I didn't we don't have any um, muffin or cupcake liners, or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to use some parchment paper. I'm an okay cook. I'm not the greatest baker. Um, or haven't done it much. So this will be interesting. Dessert is something that I'm not quite used to. Pretty much down the middle. All right. So we have our homemade, really raggedy looking um, cupcake liners or cheesecake liners, as they'll be for us. Um, okay, now finally, I can get to making the crust. There we go. Woo. Yeah. Okay, so now come the fun stuff. And I'm probably actually gonna go to our table to do this, so I'll be right back. And so, next time you see me, hopefully, I'll have all the crusts in the uh, muffin tin, so. Well, so, I got the crusts in the muffin tin. Problem was, parchment paper idea didn't really work super well, it kept crinkling up, um, and I spent some time fussing with it, messing with it, and it didn't really work out. So I did try and um, just kind of spray the bottoms um, with some, you know, spray on butter stuff. Um, cooking spray, so hopefully that will help. 
I am very, very worried that it's going to stick. Um, or I don't think it'll burn, but it'll it'll probably crust on there to the bottom. So the end product probably isn't going to be as pretty. But we're giving it a shot. This is the first time we're trying it. Um, and just kind of for fun anyway. So hopefully they'll be delicious. I do definitely have some extra um, crust. So we are going to um, probably use some of that to sprinkle on afterwards. Like a nice little um, topping, you know. All right, I'm going to get to making the filling now here um and i'll probably have the camera up for that but so first step is done all right so we've kind of got the crust figured out again not going to be quite perfect and quite as pretty and yeah nice as it would have been if i would have had everything but that's right we couldn't do our best and it still should taste good hopefully i mean the topping the, i got some of the crust here there's some of that pulverized teddy grams with sugar and butter it's delicious but anyway so now for the filling we got cream cheese sugar egg the vanilla extract and we're gonna have to mix that until smooth so again they use a stand mixer um we don't have that we do have a hand mixer so we're gonna do our best there as well try to mix it enough but not over mix it and so yeah we're just making do so far most of the things we have cooked am and i together have been good so hopefully this will be too it's definitely my wheelhouse though all right <clears throat> that you can over whip stuff um, so I don't want to do that but I did want to make sure that it was plenty whipped oh yeah that'd be good all right then we can add this to our little dudes our crusts and then we need to pop, pop them in the fridge for two hours I'm gonna make some room for that I'm gonna combine these things and then i'll show you the end product and then we'll pop them in the fridge and then uh we'll see you guys in a little bit after that all right so here we go all right so we got our um our tins filled i was a little worried i thought i was gonna have too much extra you know because i was thinking that the the liners would help give it some more height or whatever so i was afraid that the batter or the, the filling would be i'd have too much and i'd have to try and overfold them but no it actually was almost perfect um had to do a little bit of reallocating um, in the muffin tans, but we're pretty good. And so now we're just gonna pop them here in the fridge, let them chill as it says for at least two hours. We'll wait till Am comes home. Um, and it's about one o'clock, so we got a, we got three, four hours for, um, we'll be actually finishing them off. Um, but yeah, so there is the beginning of the dessert. Had some ups and downs already. Um, man, I'm not a great cameraman, especially as I'm like looking around and trying to do stuff. See you guys here in a little bit when Sam gets home and we make our side, our roasted vegetables, and then our uh, chicken noodle or casserole or whatever it is, chicken noodle bake, it's really good. Um, we've had it before, and so, we've never made it before, but we've had it before. So, all right, there's the beginning to our dessert, and then we'll finish that off later with the rest of the meal. Almost made a really big mistake. As I, you guys saw me just pop the things in the fridge, and I was like, that's all we gotta do, we let them chill for a few hours. No, no, you have to bake them first. I was sitting there like, why do I have my oven on? Because we have to bake them for 17 minutes. Jeez, that was almost not good. So they're in the oven. Just popped them in like 30 seconds ago. Um, nice and warm. So those will be in there for 17 minutes. And then we will take them out. I had such a good speech about how we're going to see you guys later with the rest of the meal, but that's all right. So they're in the oven, 17 minutes. And then we will get to uh, popping them in the fridge and then finish them off later. So there we go. Whew, I just got home from work. And it's time to start cooking. Oh wait, baby, you already started without me, didn't I just you? Was grabbing vegetables. Okay. Very nice. I'm gonna get my matching apron so that we can be really cute. It's a good Thank you. 
Ta da! <laughs> Cringy couple award. <laughs> but there's an award for that? Well, there should be. Nice. Okay. So, what do we have to do to start? So, to start, we need to quarter some potatoes. Okay. Um, and then get those boiling just for a few minutes. Um, and mm -hmm. salted water, and then we need to cut up our parsnips and our carrots. Ah, parsnips and carrots. Very nice. And then for the main course, is there anything we have to prep now, or is that after this? Uh, yeah, we'll do that after. Because we, we do have to cook some chicken and some noodles, but that won't take super long. All right. This needs an hour or so to cook and oven, so. All right, so let's get to work. <laughs> Very bad idea to wait and watch water boil. Um, it um, takes forever. See, do I just add these to a pan straight? So, we have finished the roasted veggies there in the oven at the moment, and we've done a little bit of prep for our other course, um, but yeah, now we just wait. Four cups of cubed chicken needed. Gathering what other ingredients. Like, it's but these are definitely halves already. Cubed chicken. It's getting sizzly. So you're supposed to stir it often, so that was about 11 minutes. We let it go there. So. All right. What do they say? They say that good chefs season throughout, so. Well, now I don't know if we're good chefs, but we're on our way. <laughs> also, we got photos. What? I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> then, veggies. Oh, mm. some of this Ready? Yes. Oh, you can't see anything. I can't Can see anything, but that's fine. Perhaps I'm such a camera. great photographer. I just did everything away from the camera. That's how you know I'm pro. <laughs> the recipe was actually for one 9x13, not one 8x8. Eight eight. It says 8x8 eight eight on there. Oh, it was a typo. No, it's handwritten. I, I, uh, uh, uh. Anyway, we have two pans and we are mixing them now. Leftovers. Woohoo! I mean, we did add some stuff, but. But not enough for another half pan. Full pan. Mm -hmm. I think you did. You're welcome. Got about 20 minutes left on this guy, a little less. Alright. And then. There is no rest for the hot and sweaty weary as we move on to our next course. We are finishing the ganache for the dessert. My man yeah. is very focused and he's in work mode, which I'm grateful for because that means I end up doing a little bit less than him. <laughs> well, we made the chocolate gnotch or whatever it is. And now my husband is decorating. I am not World's decorating. best decorator. No, look at that one. <laughs> Sad. That'll be a good bite. And then you add crumbs, right? I'm going to, yeah. Some crumbs, some pecans, and some caramel syrup. Mmm, and then you cool a little and then they're done. Mm -hmm. Yay! Are you ready to eat? Yes. Find the uh, vegetables first. I don't know how hot they are. Mm. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Parsnips for the first time. 
Hmm. They kind of taste like they smell. Yeah, which is good. They, they do have like a fresh, almost sweet flavor. Mm-hmm. Good. My turn to try the veggies. Mm -hmm, I've definitely had these before at my grandma's. Mm. They're good. Mm -hmm. Also, we've already had this stuff and we already know it's good, but we need to try ours because mm. ours is different. Yeah, it's like new. Mm. Mm. Good. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I have a sensitive mouth. <laughs> Marshall stamp of approval. It's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like the chilies in there. Mm-hmm. Leftovers for days. Considering we have a whole nother pan. So I figured there would be some issues with since we didn't have the cupcake liner or whatever they're called. This is what so, happens when you're not bougie. There's though. that. That's the bottom crust. Oh no. It's like completely in there. Oh no. Oh, it's spinning. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's more than I thought. Yeah, it's like down there. This is what happens when oh, you're not nice, bougie though. enough. Oh, it's cool. No. Look at that. It's just so, as if it was never touched. See? Look, perfect execution. <laughs> well, hey, it sort of worked. <laughs> I'm okay. not a desserts uh, expert. I here. think I know how to try for the next one. If I can get that bottom with it, we're good. Okay, you're good. Cut around it. Nice. Cry. Good. Finesse and power. In one. Ooh, I feel the bottom. Wow. This may be better than the first attempt. Do you want two? Um, I'll start with one. Okay. I'm like. That was pretty good. Just a little left in the bottom there. Not terrible. This better taste delicious. It better. And next time, if we make it again, we're using muffin tins. Yes. Or whatchamacallits. The, the papers. I don't know what they're called, even. All right. Next. What's the verdict? Good. This is, oh, this is amazing. Like, I would recommend. The crust is fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> we are done with our random meals selection, mm -hmm. cook, eat, and was it a success? Yeah. I think yes. It was, it was delightful. This is a great way for us to try the recipes that we wouldn't try necessarily on a daily basis yeah. and break into those recipe books. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.